Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming to this session. Uh, uh, my session today, we're going to be talking about the QuickBase governance framework and how we think of it as the key to your safe and managed citizen development using QuickBase. Um, my name is David McCormick. I'm a manager in our customer success organization. I lead a, a team of CSMs here. I've uh, been with QuickBase for 16 years. Um, so I've done a lot, seen a lot, uh, learned a lot over the years. Uh, I'm working on governance and adoption with QuickBase for almost that entire time. So I'm really excited to talk to you today about, about this topic. So from an agenda standpoint, I'd like to cover four major kind of topics today. Um, I really wanna talk a little bit about what is governance, frankly, it's a word we hear all the time and it's kind of overused and I'm kind of sick of hearing it. But um, we should talk a little bit about what that means. Everybody's saying it. So let's get into a little bit of that. Um, also want to talk a little bit about why governance should matter to you. Why should you should even be thinking about it as you think about QuickBase and, uh, and uh, citizen development and digital transformation. You know, what role does, does QuickBase uh, governance play and, and why should you care? Um, and then I'd like to get into a little bit of like our point of view. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about, again, our governance framework and how we, uh, how we recommend our customers go about solving these problems uh, and addressing this issue uh, in your own organizations. Uh, and then I'll spend a little bit of time about how you might apply that framework uh, to your own business so that you have a custom fit solution that really, really works for you. So uh, if all that's okay with you, we'll move on. All right, first off, what is governance? Again, it's a term you've probably heard a million times uh, and it's probably, you probably have a good idea of what it is. Uh, but at the same time, every time I'm in a conversation about governance, <laughs> there are different perspectives for sure. Um, so, you know, I've been doing a lot of reading and, and thinking a lot about this, as I said, and, and there's a definition that I really like or a series of definitions, I guess, when I think of governance, and I think when we think of governance here at QuickBase, uh, I think of it as governance is kind of the system by which ent entities are directed and controlled, right? So there's direction and control elements to, to a governance program. Um, governance is really concerned with the kind of structure and process for decision-making, accountability, control, and behavior. Again, we're, we're putting in structure and process to help make good decisions, uh, drive accountability uh, and, and control kind of environment, our environment. Governance also influences how an organization's of objectives are set and achieved, how risk is monitored and addressed, and how performance is optimized, right? So again, objectives, setting them and meeting them, risk, kind of assessing it and managing it, and, and performance, achieving it. So, you know, at a really high level, governance should really contribute to your overall success, help you identify and manage risk, um, get where you're going, right? Uh, and do that in a way that is structured, managed, and safe. And again, I think I talked about this in the product keynote, right? Safe and managed are two really, really important concepts when you think about a platform like QuickBase and your own organization. So then we talked a little bit about what governance really means, uh, or at least at a high level, theoretical level, right? Uh, why should it matter to you when you think about QuickBase? Well, again, um, governance should contribute to stakeholder confidence. It should help you achieve high performance, and it should help your, you and your organization remain agile and responsive. Let's talk a little bit about those things. You know, Stakeholder confidence, right? Nothing distracts an organization more than having to deal with an unhappy stakeholder group uh, because of lack of confidence kind of in the governing body, right? Uh, on the plus side, uh, a supportive stakeholder base can really deliver benefits for the whole organization in really a myriad of ways, right? So, so uh, confidence in your stakeholders, your end users, your business leaders, that confidence will pay dividends and a lot of times that confidence is really achieved through their trust that uh, a system like this is being deployed uh, in a safe and managed way, right? High performance, you know, when we talk about that, achieving goals and sustainable success really require a lot of input and support from, from all levels of the organization. 
Implementing solid governance practices provides the framework for planning, implementation, and monitoring of performance. And without a foundation to build high performance upon, really achieving the, that, those best results uh, or the best results possible becomes difficult and problematic. Right? So, so again, that structure, uh, a, a well-governed infrastructure will, will give your organization the room and the process uh, and, and the foundation they need to actually achieve measured success. And then lastly, we talk about agility and responsiveness, right? Um, good governance really should help your management and your, and your people ultimately be the best that they can be, right? So, uh, and to ensure really that the organization is well-placed to kind of respond to the changing external environment. Business today operates uh, in an environment of constant change. Technology has transformed our world. And the process of understanding our changing world doesn't really happen by chance. It really requires leadership, commitment, and resources from the governing body, essentially, to help remain agile and responsive. Again, a committed governance program led from the top. Uh, will we'll support your entire organization's ability to, to be agile and responsive. Um, big change like digital transformation or adopting a citizen development strategy really doesn't happen overnight. So uh, it's going to take some time to, to develop um, all of these elements into a really coherent structure and a governance, governance structure for your organization. Okay. So let's spend a little bit of time talking about QuickBase's point of view on all of this, right? That was some nice theory. We talked about uh, kind of what governance is and, and why it matters, why it's important to your business. Let's talk about how we think of governance here at QuickBase and for our customers. Um, when we think of governance, we think of it as a spectrum, right? There are different forms of governance. And, and in fact, I've worked with hundreds and, and hundreds of organizations over the years, and um, they're all different. There's a lot of similarities, right? They especially all think they're different <laughs> from each other, but like, but everybody, you know, and so they're all custom and, and the way they go about their business is all unique. And, that, and that's the beauty of it, right? That's what drives competitive advantage. That's what drives diversity in, in the markets. Um, and, and, you know, when I've seen adoption programs, I've seen governance uh, within our customer organizations, I've really seen a, a variety of different flavors of, of how they structure their governance organizations. Um, on the one end of the spectrum, you'll see uh, kind of business-led governance structures where the business really takes the lead um, uh, in designing their applications, building them, deploying them. You know, they, they're kind of taking the whole uh, re responsibility for the development of their solutions on QuickBase, on the QuickBase platform. The IT organization in, in that business-led environment kind of provides guardrails, provides instruction, guidance, uh, helps as necessary, but, but they, they play a supporting role for sure. On the other end of the spectrum, uh, we have IT-led uh, governance structures, you know, and IT-led implementations, where the pro developers on the IT side of the house are very, very, very involved. In fact, uh, they do all the designing, all the, you know, the majority of the building and maintenance and deployments. Um, and they really, then they just kind of hand it off a little bit to the business at the, after it's all done to say, okay, you let us know what needs to be changed. You can tune this and you can manage that and you can touch this, but, but we'll own the applications. So we've seen a business led approach and we've seen an IT led approach and we've seen uh, balance in the middle, right? Um, and a variety of shades of balance in the middle. So, you know, all that is really to say that I, we're not saying there's one, one of any one of these models is the right model or the best model. Uh, we think the right model and the best model is the one that works best for your organization. We do, however, think that um, it is very important to bring IT into the conversation as early and as often as possible, right? The sooner you can partner with IT, the sooner you can build uh, and strengthen that partnership around a platform like QuickBase, the better results we think you'll have in the long run and the easier it'll be to kind of achieve the goals that you have with QuickBase. So we definitely encourage involving IT as soon as you possibly can and, and keeping that partnership strong.
So let's talk about the uh, quick base governance framework. Right, we talked about the kind of different modes of, uh, of governance structures, that spectrum of kind of IT versus business. Um, we've worked for decades helping customers use our platform to innovate and quickly deliver real world solutions for their business. Over that time, uh, that work that we've done with our customers have really shaped our point of view on what it takes to, to, to successfully adopt QuickBase at an organization. The result of that work is, is what we call the QuickBase governance framework. Our governance framework is a set of considerations and best practices designed to help organizations create their own custom fit system of governance for QuickBase. The framework takes a holistic approach going beyond the, the security and app building. Uh, and it really gets to what it takes to, to create a sustainable organizational change that's necessary to, uh, for digital transformation efforts to succeed, right? It takes more than just having a good app uh, or having some administrators, right? We think it takes a lot more uh, around the organization to drive that, that kind of holistic cultural change that, that is really critical to the overall success uh, of something like QuickBase. Um, what does that mean, right? Again, looking beyond who will build this app today and more towards how do we ensure that we have qualified app builders five years from now, right? Like that's a, that's a different perspective we're taking when we think about our, this whole governance framework. Um, it's, it's more about creating a culture of knowledge sharing about your QuickBase solutions and how they're impacting your business, right? Ensuring that every team using QuickBase is thinking about and capturing all the data they need to validate the positive business impact these apps are delivering every single day, right? So again, we try to take, take a holistic approach to long-term sustainable change when we think about our governance framework. Now this year, we're adding to the, to the mix, if you will, we're adding support, uh, our, our enablement services offerings, right? So, so we have this framework and we support our framework through our enablement services. This is a really, really exciting uh, development for us. We're, we're very happy to bring it to market. Um, and what these services are designed to do is essentially help our customers go from purchasing QuickBase to actually successfully implementing it, adopting it, uh, and sustaining that adoption for a long time, right? Uh, these services have uh, elements like onboarding and implementation, technical consulting, governance best practices, uh, training and, and consulting, um, technical support, and, and training and certification resources, right? Um, so it's really a holistic, again, a holistic package designed to meet our customers where they are on their journey at any given moment. And they're, they're also um, evergreen kind of uh, annual kind of recurring services, right? And so, so it's the kind of investment you can make so that every year we're continue to helping, continuing to help you get better and better and move further along your journey and really realize uh, a fully, fully developed center of excellence around QuickBase. And then finally, uh, we, when we look at the framework and we look at the services that support that framework, we, we, we also look at the product capabilities, right? We continue to evolve this product as you saw in our product keynote. Um, there's, there's, there's more and more innovation happening on the product and the platform side every, every month and every year. Uh, and so we continue to incorporate those features into our services and into the framework. So again, you're taking advantage of the, of the product to support your strategy and your process that you, process that you developed around your, your, uh, your center of excellence for QuickBase. So that's a little bit about the framework. Uh, the services that support the framework um, and, and how we incorporate the product into that whole picture. Uh, ultimately, we feel like that's a great model, right? We have, we have the blueprint, if you will. We have a, a, a ton of suggestions, ideas. Uh, you know, here's a lot of things you should consider or could consider when you think about your own custom governance framework, uh, governance system at your organization. And then here's the services we'll bring to bear to help you uh, achieve that and you'll use this product to help you get there. Um, so what does that mean to actually apply it? I'm gonna think a little bit about our services and how we would, we would work with you. And we do have a point of view. Again, we've, we've been working on this for a long time and helping customers for a long time. 
and uh, we've developed a point of view. And we think uh, it's helpful and important to kind of move through our six pillars of governance uh, in a chronological way, in an ordered way, right? Uh, there's nothing that says any given customer can't or shouldn't pick and choose and work on all of these or some of these at any given moment. But we think it's, it's helpful to start with and to get organized, to crawl, walk, then run, right? And on the crawl side, on um, the first phase, if you will, uh, we like to work on security administration, right? If you're brand new to QuickBase uh, and you, you're, you've just invested and you're just you're looking to get started with QuickBase, we want to start here with you to make sure you're laying a good foundation around security, uh, that you're prepared to administer this solution as you develop uh, applications on, on the QuickBase platform. So we'll work with you on things like getting your single sign-on set up, starting to work through all of the security policies that you want to start with and document and make decisions around. Uh, we'll help you set up and establish a governance council, right? Just the very beginnings of a, of a, of a structure who will be responsible for the governance of your QuickBase uh, platform over time. I want to get that started with you. I want to do some admin training, some builder training, um, really get started on building your apps. And, and most of our customers, day one, their number one priority is I want to get my first app built, which is great. We want to help you get there and let's get started. But let's also do some of this other foundational work that's going to be really important down the line. In that first kind of crawl phase, we also want to talk about administration. Again, we'll do some administrator training. I want to make sure we've got all the right people in all the right spots so that you don't have any kind of vacancies or gaps. Uh, I want to start talking with you about application lifecycle management, uh, which is which is how are you going to kind of manage the flow of applications over time? Um, we want to get that started in this in this early stage so that we could be ready for it as we continue to grow. Speaking of that, let's go to the walk stage. Right? The second one, we'll call that getting operational. Right? Uh, here's where we want to double down and really dig into that application lifecycle management um part of your governance practice right so uh how do you go from you know the idea of a new app through the decision to build it uh, all the approvals necessary to do that um, the design of that app the testing the build you know the deployment of that app but there's a whole life cycle for these applications there's probably some process you want to put in place to make sure that that goes smoothly uh, every single time let's work on that with you um, you may be starting to integrate your applications with other platforms and other solutions. Let's help make sure you're not only doing that effectively, but you're keeping track of it, uh, that you know how to maintain all those things, right? Uh, that, you, that, you know, three years from now, uh, when all the people who built that application are gone uh, and there's an integration with who knows what and it stops working, it would be helpful if you knew where to go look to go fix it, right? Let's help you make sure that you don't find yourself in that situation. And then education. We want to start talking to you about education. Again, you've probably already built your first few apps. Um, you may have one or more builders uh, on the platform building quick solutions with QuickBase. But again, things change. People move on. People are promoted. Right? There's all there's all kinds of change in our organizations today. So so who will be the builders tomorrow, next quarter, next year? Um, let's start building for the future. Let's start training people so that they know how to maintain, modify, create these solutions over time so that you don't find yourself uh, in a hole uh, or in a bad situation uh, at some point because you haven't invested in training, training uh, the next group of, of administrators or builders uh, on the platform. So let's start that education program. And then we'll go to the third phase again. Well, crawl, walk, run, right? So here we really want to get orchestrated, right? We've, we've laid the foundations. We've started to put in some of the key uh, process and practice uh, to be operational. Now let's really turn up, turn, uh, turn up the volume on that, I guess, right? Let's start collecting value out of these applications. Let's understand what they're really doing for our business. Um, what, what improvements, what efficiencies are they driving? Uh, let's make sure we're doing strategy reviews with you and that you're doing them uh, within your own organization. You know, are these the right applications we're building? Is this the right, uh, uh, the best application of this technology? What can we do better to tie QuickBase's capabilities to our, ex uh, our executive and organization's priorities for this year, for next year, right? How does QuickBase fit into our three-year plan? 
how can it help make us be more competitive? We want you to be talking about that, thinking about that. We want to help you get there. And then we want to help you think about community. Again, um, all the examples I've given so far could be a very small group of people designing these apps, building them, talking about them. Um, but how do we get your whole organization thinking about the value that the QuickBase apps are driving throughout the organization? Uh, making sure that they're aware of what's possible so that wherever problems are, uh, business problems in the organization, um, that, that all of your employees are thinking, huh, I wonder if uh, we could solve this problem a different way. And they're raising their hand and, and getting the idea that maybe QuickBase could solve these problems for us. Uh, so we want to spread the word, really help you create a community around QuickBase. You know, mentors for your app builders or your aspiring app builders. Uh, how do we create user groups within your organization so that on a regular basis, the people who are involved with QuickBase are talking about it, thinking about it, collaborating. There's a ton of work we can do around that. We want to help you get orchestrated in that, in that third phase. And again, all of this doesn't happen overnight, right? And that's where our enablement services come into play, where we can be working with you month over month, quarter over quarter, year over year, to, to eventually evolve your center of excellence to a place where it looks complete uh, and you have a sustainable model that you can carry forward uh, for many years. So with all that said, um, let's talk a little bit about what good looks like. Um, you know, again, there's, there's no perfect or right answer to kind of what your governance structure or your center of excellence should look like in QuickBase or at your company. But we do think um, it's important to at least address and consider, as I've been talking about, kind of all the important stuff, right? Um, and I think there are three main areas that are, that are uh, critical to not ignore when it comes to uh, creating your own center of excellence and governing your own quick base at your organization. One is the people. Um, over time, a healthy center of excellence and governance system will include many, many people. Um, at the top, you're going to want a committed and complete governance committee or group. These folks are there to make decisions, set priorities and policies, uh, and communicate kind of transparently throughout the organization. Um, it's critical to have a center of excellence owner. It's critical to have business leadership or, or, or IT leadership at the top. You know, but we need we need some folks at the top of your your governance structure who are there to kind of make those decisions and set that direction. We need their commitment. Um, involving IT early, as I said uh, before, is really really important, uh, and it and um, and it's it's critical to your long term success. You know. While QuickBase does represent the democratization of IT, it's still technology solutions and we want to partner with IT rather than compete with them. So again, the sooner we can embrace IT, bring them into the process, get them invested in this, the better. Business leadership is really important as well. It's, it's, business leaders are critical to a complete feedback loop and to ensure that the business value is definitely being realized. Uh, they're also there to help set those priorities, help set the strategy, uh, work with the governing body uh, to, to kind of guide the ship, if you will, uh, of what's going on with QuickBase at your company or your organization. Um, technical teams are also, they're gonna be part of this, right? Now, those technical folks can be technical business users. They don't have to be professional developers, but they could be, right? Could be a mix, uh, but these technical teams are necessary to build and maintain these solutions on QuickBase. So we have to develop and cultivate them. Uh, like I said, it's one of the most important resources that, you, that you're gonna need to recruit, train, and cultivate. Administrators are equally important to the smooth operation of this system, and they also need to be trained and supported. Uh, and so it's really important to kind of think about all the different people that, that you're going to need over time and start to look around, recruit, um, and find the folks that you can use to, to help fill those roles for you. Another thing you're gonna, uh, that's really important, not only do we need to focus on people, but we have to focus on structure, right? Um, how do we get organized? How do we organize all those people uh, so that 
they, um, they work effectively uh, and they're kind of supporting our overall success with QuickBase. What we are looking at here is, is a sample center of excellence structure. Again, yours may look completely different. Uh, this structure is really designed, uh, it actually represents one, two, three, four different divisions at an organization, right? Let's, let's assume this is a big organization. Um, uh, there is a kind of central governance component to this center of excellence where, where again, I talked about it already, where that, that, that uh, governance committee, if you will, is making decisions, setting policy, setting priority. Uh, they're allocating resources, right? Licensing across all these different groups. Um, maybe they're, they're allocating our enablement services, uh, resources across the organization. Um, and they're ultimately coordinating the strategy and the resources for the whole for the whole implementation. We have divisions, which are that kind of dark green color, and again, there's there's four represented here. But at the division level, you could imagine, especially at this scale, every division might want to cultivate their own group of app builders, so that those builders are working on those apps for that for that organization or that subgroup, right? And they're very familiar with the business practices. They're very familiar with, with, uh, with how that group works and what's important to them. So maybe they're best suited to work on those, those solutions, right? So they may have their own builder groups. Uh, and at the division level, you know, again, they're managing their resources, uh, managing the build schedule of the apps that they're, they're, they're identifying, licenses and resources, et cetera. Um, and they're training more builders and more end users uh, as time goes on. And then below those, you may even have multiple different departments, right? Uh, and those folks are managing their apps. Uh, they're managing their resources, again, helping maintain those apps that they have. Um, so, so, you know, I think this is just a model that, that you know, and off to the right, you'll see uh, the dedicated QuickBase account teams, the enablement services folks, and we're all here, and the solution providers, we're all here to support the whole organization. Um, and so again, this is just one visualization of, of what a structure could look like. Um, and so it's something to think about. We wanna work with you to find the structure that works best within your organization. And then uh, another critical component to consider is, uh, is your process, right? Um, I've laid out just a few different key processes here on this slide that, that you don't wanna ignore, I don't think, right? So uh, we want to encourage you to, to look at, you know, th there's, there's process around the solutions you have. There's processes you might want to implement around risk, onboarding and offboarding, uh, training and education, community, right? Things like uh, inventorying all the apps, making sure you know they're categorized, making sure you know what's in them, making sure uh, you know how to intake ideas for new apps. Off, you know, and, and and ultimately manage the whole life cycle of your different solutions, right? Um, reviewing risk, right? Who has access to what? What are their permission levels? What kind of data is in these apps? Right? There's some process, maybe some recurring process, every quarter, every year that you want to go through to kind of make sure you're staying on top of that stuff. You're going to onboard and offboard people all the time, uh, end users, builders. You're going to create. And, uh, and retire applications over, the, over time. What's your process for kind of doing all of those things? Uh, you're gonna educate people, right? You're gonna train them, you're gonna certify them. You might even have some folks specialize in certain areas. What's your process for running folks from a beginner all the way to an expert integrations, uh, quick base integrations person, right? So what processes can we put in place to make sure that you have a full bench all the time? And then, you know, lastly, community, right? How do we schedule, for instance, user groups? Uh, how do we commit to that on a regular basis? Who's going to lead those things? Uh, how do we manage agendas and communicate uh, throughout the organization that, that, that we have QuickBase and that there are events and, and, and uh, that there's learning available, right? So again, just some examples of the kind of process that you're going to want to consider as you think about implementing the governance framework and uh, creating a center of excellence for QuickBase at your organization. And lastly, I'm just going to talk a little about some tools we bring to bear to help you down this path, right? Um, and the services we, we, we are announcing this year, we're bringing to market right now, that we're very excited, we think can help you um, on your journey. 
So some of the tools, for instance, that, that we bring to bear in the context of these service offerings, uh, we, we have, for instance, applications built on QuickBase that are designed to, to do a lot of that application intake classification, registration, uh, maintenance schedules, kind of managing that whole application lifecycle management process. We've got some tools already built, designed to help you manage that. And we'd love to give them to you. Um, we have applications designed to actually manage this entire center, center of excellence implementation filled with the 100 plus considerations we have broken up across all these six governance pillars. We have them all documented in an application that you can use like a program management app to literally track and monitor and manage your implementation of the center of excellence. Love to give it to you. <laughs> uh, we also have apps for like user group management, how to schedule them, what are the agendas, who are the speakers, what are the topics? Uh, you know, we've designed some apps. Uh, we've talked about them in the past at, at, at Empower's past. Uh, again, we'd love to help you use those applications to, to be successful. And again, I've talked about our service packages. Um, we have a few different levels. I won't go into the eye chart you see here, but the point is every one of our enablement service packages has governance, com governance components included in it. These packages, packages are recurring. Therefore, we can continue to help you develop your center of excellence over time. These services also include advanced technical and application building elements to help you get where you're going a lot faster. So they're really something to consider. I believe we'll be doing consultations about our service packages uh, in the context of Empower this year. Um, so look for more information on that uh, in some of the supporting materials uh, that you'll be receiving. Oops. And then lastly, when we talk about those center of excellence engagements through those services, um, this is just a little bit of context of kind of that it's a joint effort. It's a partnership, right? Uh, we provide a whole lot. We bring a whole lot to the table for you, dedicated consulting, uh, best practices, tools, and then you provide a lot and you bring a lot to the table. Uh, you bring commitment, you bring people, you provide access and you set priority, right? We work together uh, on a project basis to try and help you achieve these results. We really want you to succeed. We really want you to take advantage of these, uh, this, this expertise that we've developed over the years. Uh, we really want you to have a wonderful governance program for QuickBase at your organization. So to wrap up, uh, some of the key takeaways that I'd love for you to, to go away with here are governance is critical for your success, right? It's really important for you to think about governance long-term as you think about QuickBase at your organization. Governance is structure and process and change, right? So, so ultimately what we wanna do is help you put in the structure and the process to help you manage the change that your whole organization really should go through to, take the, to get the most value out of QuickBase. Governance should be holistic and inclusive, right? It shouldn't just be about building better apps. It should, it should uh, span the whole organization and many different disciplines. Change is difficult, but necessary. It doesn't happen overnight. Uh, we wanna help you through that change. We really think you're gonna have to develop people, structure and process. We want you to include IT early and often. We really want you to recruit, recruit business leaders to help support this change. And we encourage you to leverage our services to kind of help you implement this framework and build uh, build on your long-term success. I really appreciate spending uh, this time with you and you spending this time with me. I'd love to answer any questions you have. I believe you can uh, put questions into the chat and we have people standing by uh, and I'll be happy to answer them here. <laughs>